to solve these kind of questions, okay, the best way to do is we move x on one side and then the number on the other side, okay? So let, let's see. So because this is 3x here, so I'm going to move it to the left, okay? What, 10, it means whatever in front, so plus 10, okay, belong to it, so we move on this side. Alright, so on the left here, we left with 5x, okay, 5x. Now, because it's 3, now nothing in front of 3, it means positive 3, okay. So minus 3, we move on this side, become, I mean, plus 3, we move on this side, become minus 3. So it become minus 3x. You see, it's equal to, now, 40, I just write it down, because I didn't do anything with that, okay, let's write 40. Now, the negative positive, positive 10, you move up on this side, on the right, become minus 10. So you minus 10 that side. So now we're just collecting light term. So 5x, 5x minus 3x is 2, 2x left, okay? Now on the right here, 40 minus, 3, minus 10 is 30, correct? Now what we do, we just get rid of these two, because two times x, so we'll get rid of these two, so divide by two, I divide this by two, so therefore, Okay, therefore, x is equal to 15. Okay, that's how you do it, okay? Let me run next one. Number two. Okay, let's say, I'll write this down first. Number two, let's say 8a, okay, plus 20 is, e is equal to 4a plus 10. Okay, so now, Remember, we're going to move letter on one side, number on the other side. So we're going to move. The way to go about this is I move this is 4a here. I move on this side. Okay, and the 20, okay, min plus 20, I move on this side. Now, on the left here, first of all, I left with 8a, okay? Plus 40, I mean plus 4a, I move on this side, become minus 4a is equal to 10 okay i move the 20 on this side become minus 20 okay so 8a minus 4a okay 8a minus 4a is left with 4a okay now 10 minus 20 okay is minus 10 left okay otherwise just use your calculator if you're not 100 percent sure okay so what i do I get rid of 4, because 4 times A, because I want to find A by itself, so I get rid of 4, by divide by 4 on the left, I must divide by 4 on the right, of course, and whatever we do on the left, you need to do the same thing on the right. So therefore, okay, A is equal to 4 go to 10 is 2 times, but because of positive and negative, give you 2, okay, remainder, 2s, okay, because 4 times 2 is 8, so which is? two and then remainder for two four which is negative two and a half or you can write minus two point five is that okay so that's that's how you go about this otherwise just use your calculator minus ten divided by four is minus two point five as simple as that okay it's just remember it's all about the process you just need to get in the right process that's also we just keep move along number three Okay, so let's say, I want to add a little bit of flavor. So let's say 2, 3x minus 5, okay, ma is equal to 3x minus 9. Okay, now, with these questions, okay, step number one, what I need to do, that's right, you need to remove the bracket first, right? So first of all, I need to remove this first, so I time this together. Okay, so that means 2 times 3 is 6, but it's 6x. It's not 6 because 2 times 3x, yeah, so 6x. 3, 2 times minus 5 is negative 10. Okay, so that's what you get. And then on the right-hand side here, I didn't do anything. I just copied that out first of all, okay? That is your first step. Step number one, I removed the bracket by expanding it first, all right? Then I'm going to move this number on this side and then 3x back on this side okay so the answer will be 6x 
minus 3x is equal to negative 10, 9, and then to 10, I move over, because minus 10 move over, become plus 10. Just remember that for me, okay? So just remember, plus become minus, minus become plus. Keep that in mind for me. So now, I just collect my term. So 6x minus 3x, so you left with 3x. So minus 9 plus 10 is 1, okay? Then I get rid of 3, because 3 times x equal 1. 3 times something give me 1. So I do opposite, so I divide by 3. Then I divide by 3 on this side. So this cancel out. So now therefore, okay, x is equal to 1 third, okay? So do you understand? Okay, let me let me move along. Okay, I'm gonna do, I I'm gonna do this one now, uh, which is same thing, same process, but a little bit more flavor. All right, let's say number five. So let's say four, two x uh, plus three. Let's say minus four is equal to x minus thirty-two. You see now. It's the same thing. Step number one, what I do, I remove the bracket first, right? So that's the main thing for, for this first. So what I do, I go 4 times 2x. So 4 times 2x is, 4 times 2 is 8. That means 8x. And then I'm going to do 4 times 3. Alright, so 4 times 3 is 12. So you add 12. Now, minus 4, I just write it down. And then x, okay, minus 32. Okay, now that's step number one. Step number two, I'm going to collect my term, tidy up a little bit first, okay? So this makes it easier. So what I'm going to do, okay, because of this, 12 minus 4 first, yeah? So 12 minus 4 is 8. So that means you left with 8x, this one here, plus 8 is equal to x minus 32 okay so you get that then what i do i move x on one side remember on the left and then um, number on the right so easier so i do the eight here i move on this side because whatever in front because it is belong to eight so plus so i circle it so move on that side become minus and the number here now remember nothing in front of x that means a positive x so if I move the x on this side, okay, if I move x on this side, it become minus, right? So now it left it it become 8x see? minus okay 3 minus x because it's positive x, you move become minus. Keep that in mind for me. So minus 32, I just write it down first, okay? Don't forget. Plus 8, I move the plus 8 on that side, become minus. So I'm minus 8. You see? So it's just like that. Then what I do, collect my term. So 8, 8 x minus, 8 x minus x is 7 x. Okay, so you left with 7 x is equal to minus 32. Okay, minus 8 is minus 40. Okay, otherwise use your calculator. Then I divide by 7, I divide by 7. So therefore, Okay, x equal, again, you can use calculator, of course. So negative divide negative, give you a, a negative divide positive, give me a negative, yes? And then 7 go to 40 is 5 times 35, right? Remember 5, so 5, 7. Okay, otherwise, again, just use your calculator. Minus 40 divided by 7, give you answer, okay? Straight away. But make sure you get the right process, all right? Now, let's do next one. Okay, let's say I do one more. Okay, last one. Let's say 2x, okay, minus 5 over 2 is equal to x at 8. Okay, at 8 over 3. Now, can you tell me how I'm going to go about this one? Yep. Cross multiply. Remember, if you watch my um, previous couple of videos, in something like that, you immediately, okay, know that you cross multiply. Make life easier, okay? Of course, you can 
how do I you can time two on tam two first and then you tam three but that's uh, longer so the best way longer uh, method okay the best way to do is just to cross multiply there you go so three tam two x minus five but because two x minus five more than one term remember that so I have to open curl brackets that means three tam three tam I open curl bracket two x minus five remember that for me because more than one term you have to be open curl bracket then two times x plus eight. So two, open bracket, x plus eight. You see? Then what I do next is I remove the bracket by expanding it, okay? So I'm gonna expand it by two, three x, uh, three times two x, and then three times minus five, okay? Three times two x is six x. Three times minus five is minus 15, okay? And then two times x, is 2x 2 times 8 is 16 you see that's 16 then what I do again you, you know that by now okay so minus 15 I move on this side 2x I move on this side so what is left with is 6x minus 2x is equal to 16 I write it down first minus 15 I move on that side become plus 15 there you go then 6x minus 2x is 4x okay now 16 okay plus 15 is 31 okay that's what you get then I divide thing by 4 I divide everything by 4 on the left and I must do the same thing on the right so therefore okay x equal to okay 4 go to um, 4 go to 31 is 7 times because 7 times 4 is 28 so remember 3 so that means 3 quarter but again you don't have to do in your head if you're not good with your divisions you just you calculate 31 divided by 4 and the answer give you straight the calculator give you answer straight away again it's about the process okay now I'm gonna give you just three questions okay and then I want you to uh, uh, try to do it yourself and of course I'm gonna give you the answer so you can compare with um, with uh, your one and my one to so see if you got the same answer right okay so let's say number one okay 5m minus 4 okay is equal to 2m plus 9 okay I give you answer straight away and remember it's about the process so your first, the answer for this is m equal one four and one third okay give it the answer here and number two question number two is two okay x plus three okay x plus three is equal to five minus two okay x minus five okay now the answer for this is x is equal to five and a quarter or five point two five. All right, no matter which one you do. Okay, so number three. Okay, last one. So let's say this is two x minus three, or over two is equal to three x minus one, or over five. Okay. And the answer for this one is three and a quarter. Okay, so can you please try to do these three questions, see if you get it. Thank you so much for watching my video.